Hey, it's Justin with Swim Shop 4x4. Uh, if you're watching this, you know we've got a YouTube channel. We wanted to get a quick video out because we're getting a lot of new subscribers, which we appreciate that. Uh, that's what we're doing it for. Thank y'all. Uh, but some of the subscribers, that are, are they're asking us questions that they haven't gone back and looked at some of our older videos, which is fine. No problem at all. But we wanted to let you know, uh, more than us just acting crazy around here to shop and build stuff, we also offer a DIY four-wheel drive uh, kit for your van. Uh, this is for somebody that's got an 84 to a 95 G-Series Chevrolet van that wants four-wheel drive. We offer a kit to make that process a whole lot easier for you. What our kit does is it gives you the provisions to mount the front leaf springs and axle up under your van. It comes with a front plate for the front spring hangers. We have an engine cradle that we've made uh, to mount your engine because once you drop all your two-wheel drive stuff out from under the van, there's nothing there for the engine to mount to. We figured out a way to get the rear hangers uh, welded under the van to line up for your uh, shackles at the rear for your leaf springs, uh, new cushions, grade eight bolts come with it. Uh, it's just a uh, easy way for the mechanically inclined DIYer to make, a, make his van four wheel drive that may not have the money to go out and pay for a whole build or, or wants to do it itself. We, uh, we got a jig back here that we make everything on. Uh, this is the kit that Ivan is finishing up welding right now. Uh, this is just basically what we did when we started making, we started building vans and uh, a lot of people just started wanting to know, you know, can you build us a van? Can you build us a van? And we, we just, it's just three of us. It's me, my son, Seth, and my daughter's boyfriend, Ivan, in a little backyard shop here. So we just don't have time to be building vans for people all the time, which I wish we could. So we decided to actually make a kit kind of for ourselves when we're building vans to make the process go so much easier because when you're doing it one off there's so much time involved with measuring getting everything lined up getting everything centered and squared under the van because if you've ever worked with vans you know the motor is not in the center of the van everything is kind of off center to the passenger side so it's a little tricky getting everything lined up and getting it squared under the van so we came up with something to really help us move faster but it also morphed into us selling kits to the uh, the public out there. And uh, yeah, what it is, it's just a, uh, we try to utilize every bolt hole that we possibly can on the van. We use the front three bolts here where your uh, the bumper and your sway bar bolted to. These are the bolts that your front bumper bolts to. You gotta drill maybe uh, three holes, I think. And it's just a matter of bolting the plate on and taking a drill and drilling right there where the holes are. Uh, I know it's, it's big, <laughs> it's bulky, but we had this in mind that if somebody ever wanted to maybe mount a winch on the front of their van, it would give them a good solid mounting point to mount it to and also tie both ends, both sides of the frame in together. This is where the engine cradle uh, mounts the bolt holes that are already there. We utilize as many of the existing holes that we possibly can. This is where your two-wheel drive suspension bolted. Uh, this here, this is what we built to simulate the leaf springs on the van these are these simulate 47 inch square body uh, leaf springs and that's what we use we basically got it in a way where it turns your uh your van into a square body chevrolet truck so we try to use we try to build it in a way where you could go buy off the shelf parts to say if you wanted to change something up but just to give you an idea this is the way the engine cradle uh, sits on there. It bolts down and it's another thing too. We designed it this way so we could tie another tie-in to tie the two frame rails together. They're unibody, but it, it's just another tie-in to tie that together. At the rear here, you do have to look, do a little bit of welding. Only way we could figure it out, there may be a better way or a different way, but if it is, we haven't figured it out. This way has worked good. We've built several vans. Uh, Seth will probably show some pictures of the vans that we've uh, built in the past. But uh, all you do, this just has to be welded in. We have gussets here that we send with the kit that you weld it in. So, you, you know, you need to be a pretty good welder or have somebody that can weld good. And this is where the rear hangers go for your leaf springs. And that's uh, pretty much the kit. It's uh, pretty easy. We give you a step-by-step -step instruction video when you buy the kit from us. I think it's a, uh, almost two hours long. We go through every step from taking it from two wheel drive to taking it four wheel drive. Uh, the uh, transmission and transfer case and the rear suspension, there is really no one off 
one size fits all that we've able, been able to come up with for every van because we've done so many of them and every one of them are different. But we can talk you through and show you exactly how to do that, the best way to do it for what you're, uh, what you're planning to do with your van and what you're going to use your van for. Okay, you just saw uh, an example of our uh, kit laying on the table and uh, on the jig. We figured we would show you uh, an example of a van that's actually on. This is my son, Seth. He's the one behind the camera. This is kind of an extreme example uh, of what the kit is. He's got, uh, this is a 95 G10 with a uh, six inch lift, six inch lift springs under the front, with 37 inch tires. But we just figured we would show you what it looks like. This is the, uh, this is the front plate. You can't really see it because the bumper's hiding it, but this is the front plate that we were talking about. And the engine cradle that we were talking about, this is how it goes. It tucks right close up to the oil pan under there, uh, up high, out of the way. Then back at the back, you got the spring cable we were talking about. How they are, they weld to the frame with the gussets to support those at the rear. And that is what our kit does. That gets the axle, like we said, the axle and the leaf springs mounted under your van. The uh, transmission transfer case, uh, Seth, if you want to just pan back, this is not included in the kit, but we can show you different ways to do this is according to what transmission and transfer case you decide to use. Uh, Seth's stuff is all under his van. We went with three quarter ton square body Chevrolet stuff. He's got a 14 bolt in the rear with an eight lug 10 bolt in the front. We will probably be going to a Dana 60 in the front. So your options as far as your running gear, uh, pretty much any square body uh, Chevrolet combination stuff that you wanna use, we can uh, tell you how to make that and get that under your van and get it done. But uh, I don't think, I, I don't know if I mentioned it in there. The uh, kits, price of the kit is $17.50 plus shipping, which is, we think is a great deal because it's taking all the guesswork out of it for you. If your time is worth anything, you will spend a lot more time than that getting everything lined up and trying to figure out how it all goes under there and getting it square. I know we uh, we took a lot of hours and a lot of late nights in the shop when we were trying to figure this out and a lot of trial and error before we got it right. But we feel like we got it right. We've, uh, God, I don't know how many we've we built so far, Seth. Several. Several. We've built there. several and there are a ton of kits all over the all over the world right now we've 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 sold kits all over the country most of them are going to the west coast there's going to be a lot of four-wheel drive vans in california because i know of them went out there uh we've got a few overseas uh, so far talked to the people we've talked to have been happy with them no issues uh and we have not had anybody come back and tell us anything negative about them so uh we're happy with them uh I mean, we use them. This is Seth's daily driver. My daughter's got one with four inches and 33s on it. I've got a daily driver, a one ton, just like this, six inch lift with uh, 37s. So uh, we don't just build them and, and sell the stuff. We actually use them every day too, so. We're not some big uh, manufacturing company. It's just three guys in a backyard shop with uh, minimal tools that we are just like you guys. We're DIYers. We started doing this stuff for ourselves and uh, just figured maybe this is a way we could help people make it a little bit easier and get uh, get some people out there that wanted a van four-wheel drive that couldn't afford to go and spend a hundred thousand dollars on these new uh, I don't know. There's several companies out there now that make the new vans. I, I can't afford one. That's why we started building them our own. So, uh, but yeah, we just wanted to touch base with you guys. If you're interested in a kit, hit us up on our email. It's the Swim Shop Four by Four at gmail.com. We have a kit on there that you can fill out fill out all the information. Be sure to put your telephone number on there because I like to call and talk to everybody so we can talk about your van because every van is different, what you're gonna use it for. Uh, we can tell you what other kind of parts to round up that you need as far as your axles, what transmission transfer case. We have the links to the place that supplies the uh, crossover steering kit. Anywhere that you can buy a square body lift kit, you can get the lift kit to uh, go with your van. So. Uh, like I said, we just wanted to get that out there for the new people that don't know exactly what we do. If you're interested, be sure to send us an email, hit us up, keep liking, keep subscribing, share, check out our buddies at uh, OK Recycling, check out our buddies at Renegade Tees that print all of our t-shirts. If you want some merch, we've got some new merch coming. Check that out. Uh, you can get that all from the uh, email. And uh, that's it. We just wanted to get that out there. We appreciate what y'all are doing. Just keep what, doing what y'all are doing, and we'll keep doing what we're doing.